Well, everybody, welcome back to Chat and Show. As you can see, I have a very, very special guest with me today. If you like makeup, I've got the girl for you. That's right. Shout out to Fahima in the building. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-woo. laughs> Fahima Rahman. Fahima Rahman in yeah. the building. <laughs> I'm going to cut the first part. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Why did I not say the last name? That's, yeah, that's, that's funny, exactly. You that's can't how that was. Funny, funny, funny thing is, though, when I told Honey I'm going to have a makeup artist coming, I mm-hmm. only told her your first name. She found your channel like that. Yeah. Really? Like that. So there's not a lot of people with my no, name. No, I literally typed in Fahima, makeup, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, then I'm one, the one and only, then, yeah. 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 So guys, <laughs> just type in Fahima makeup and she's there. Yeah. Okay. Couple of videos on the front page as well. Yeah, they were all her videos. Yeah, but I've been. Whoa. I stopped it for a while and I need to get back into it. You've been doing it. it for like six years. Yeah, but it Talk was. Talk to us about on how you started um, that. So, um, my f- my channel, mm. the first time. I mean, yeah, because you got a video from six years ago. Yeah, that's when I started six years ago, and um, it was from watching other makeup YouTubers mm-hmm, doing mm-hmm. their makeup, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make my own. Mm. But it takes a lot of courage to get up there, and I remember my first video was with a, a phone oh, yeah, on yeah, my yeah. bed, you know, oh, and, and doing the makeup in the, like, it's night time, and... Obviously, I didn't know anything about lighting, yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing, and I think everyone else, everyone starts like that yeah, at some point, yeah, yeah. and then you get yourself into it, you follow others, mm. you see other people put things like lighting, camera, and it, it just goes from there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I, I, it's been on and off, but mm. I need to start doing more. I so, think. how did you get your passion for doing makeup? Like, what made you feel like, you know, I should be doing makeup? Sorry. Funnily enough, when I was, like, young and stuff, mm-hmm. my my mum and I remember as well that mm. it was all about getting the lipstick out and mm. I've got pictures of me when I'm four or five and I've got my face done with like, you know, patterns and mm. it was my birthday and I got lipstick on. I remember, mm. obviously, it's like lipstick. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, so I was always around makeup from okay, a young age and I was interested yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, when I was in my teenage and when I was in school, mm. I used to, with my pocket money, I used to go to Super Drugs and Boots and mm. I used to buy my, you know, Rimmel makeup and I used to start exploring, collecting makeup, trying it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, from my teen, teenage years, mm. I was always around makeup and then my friends in school were like, Fima, mm. can you do my makeup? Can you do my eyeliner? Mm. And it was always the background, the makeup. Yeah. But, obviously... <laughs> I went to college, I went to university, um, and I used to be a midwife. I used to work in the okay. NHS. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my all, my ultimate plan at the back of my mind was mm-hmm. always makeup and beauty. But my yeah. parents, and you know how it is with Asian families, it's like, oh, you've got to be a doctor, you've got to be a nurse. Or, mm-hmm. So I thought, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> you know, obviously I had a passion in pregnancy and all of that. And that's mm-hmm. why I went to university i did my midwifery degree mm. but i did it part-time because the other part-time i wanted to work on my beauty and my makeup mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i got my job as a midwife yeah did my three-year degree blah blah mm. blah mm-hmm. and then i got myself into beauty therapy nice. so that's that's where my base was mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. be a beauty therapist yeah. so i went to college thursdays and fridays for a year i got my beauty therapy mm. certificate yeah, did yeah. nails makeup unit, um, pedicures, facials, waxing. So I have that as a backbone. And then after that, I went into specialising to makeup. Yeah. Um, I went to makeup school. I went to the London School of Beauty and Makeup. Mm. Um, and then I went to Asian hair and bridal stuff. So yeah, I did yeah. freelancing. Mm. I got into MAC. Oh, and now nice. MAC, um, MAC. I also... That's the... Uh, cosmetics, yeah. That's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. What's it like? bitchy <laughs> <laughs> well it's just full of girls isn't it it's full of girls but the arrogant girls the, right yeah because the thing with going back to the conversation where i was talking about where i've been i was at benefit doing brows as well okay. like doing the brows but um within all of that time i was always watching youtube and makeup like anyway yeah. so a lot of my learning as i was saying is mm. through youtube mm. before i went to makeup school mm. Before I started beauty therapy, I was always mm. at night on my phone watching, following so many makeup stories, and so I learned cool. so much mm. the brushes, everything. Yeah. And I thought YouTube was amazing like, how much you can learn for free. It was, do you have anyone that you follow in particular on YouTube? Um, yeah, loads of makeup yeah. Um, artists. Anyone particular? Yeah, like Patrick Starr. 
yeah. He's collabing with Mac at the moment. Yeah. Patrick Starr, um, Jacqueline Hill. Um, I can't remember at the top of my head, but mm. I do follow a lot. Yeah, I know um, So, going back to where I've been, so I did went to school, did my freelancing, worked for Mac, Benefit, did my mm. brows, and now I'm at Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. So, Mac, going back to Mac yeah. and how it was then, why I left there, mm. going back to the subject of girls and being bitchy, it mm. was like that because mm. working for Charlotte Tilbury and mm. working for Mac. The thing that Mac look for yeah. when they recruit their staff is mm. artistry. Okay. Mm. They don't look for any customer care skills. Wow. They don't look for any of that. They just purely care about, okay, you look good. You know how I know I'm dissing Mac at the moment, but mm. okay, you look good. We're going to have you your, you know, you have to go through four interviews. Yeah. You have to go through a phone call, face-to-face -face interview, makeup tests and mm. like, you so have to what, go through stuff. So what would you say to a guy that would say you don't need makeup? Like, is makeup important to you? Because you know you get a lot of guys that's like, yeah. eh, you don't need to wear makeup. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a common conversation around course, males. Yeah, isn't it? Some men love it though. They so, love the whole, you know. Yeah, some men do love it. <laughs> have you ever, I don't know about your experience, but have you ever been in a situation where a man's like, you don't even need to wear makeup. Like, you're good without it. But do you feel like do you, know you could go out without makeup? Or I can. Like, I wear nothing important? on my days off. I mean, I met you without makeup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see how bad I look. <laughs> you are that bad. What are you? <laughs> but um, makeup is a key confidence for women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For some women, it's it's not like that for me. I could yeah. be happy 100% go on YouTube, whatever, and film without any makeup. Yeah. I'll probably feel crap a little bit, like I don't look my best, but it's yeah. not going to stop me from doing the makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I do my makeup um, tutorials, I've got nothing on. Yeah, well, you start with nothing. Yeah, I right? start with nothing yeah. on. So makeup is. It's like a confidence key for a lot of women. Mm, okay. They feel different when they got it on. And I've mm -hmm. met a lot of women and clients and customers. Mm. And when I do their makeup or they come in with it or I strip it off, mm. you can start to see insecurities about a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's about confidence and yeah. how she feels. And when she feels confident, mm. you can succeed so much in your life. Just yeah. by the power of makeup. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, it's just makeup. Mm. It comes off, it's nothing. But it's the way people feel. And there's so much, I think in society, there's so mm. much pressure about women looking slim, good, mm. all mm. of that, mm. magazines, media. Yeah. Women are under a lot of pressure. 100%, 100%, 100%. Women are under a lot of pressure. and Especially with social media. Social media, like, oh, does she look good? Oh, the makeup's now, yeah. she's yeah. fat, she's skinny. There's some, there's some evil people out there, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get people down. So, where can people find you on YouTube so and I social have a, media? Yeah, so I have a, the whole shebang. <laughs> <laughs> so I have an Instagram. It's um, called Fahima Bridal MUA, and we'll put some. Follow me, by the way, but my... I will follow you. <laughs> <laughs> name of that. This is why I'm here, isn't it? <laughs> I started so you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What's, what's so it's Fahima I also have a makeup a YouTube makeup channel. It's my name, Fahima Mia. So we'll put the yeah links up in the description below. Yeah, so you can find me there. Um, and I'm also happy to YouTube. Take this. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. The makeup videos. Yeah. I mean, say the name of the channel. And yeah, stuff Fahima Rahman. I mean, I know <laughs> you didn't say it. I did just say. <laughs> oh, you did. I did. You're not listening. I am. <laughs> Yeah. Because I uh, just said it. You know, they all, I think because you said Fahima for all of it, I was just thinking it's like Fahima Twitter. Bridal. Yeah, okay. So follow me on Instagram, Fahima Bridal M U A. Yeah. Um, and then I also have a makeup a YouTube channel which is Fahima Rahman. So please subscribe to my channel, I'll be so grateful. <laughs>